says, hi, thank you for posting these videos. Do you have any advice about evangelism on social media? Oh yes, please, please share our YouTube channel. We're getting millions of views. Many, many non-Christians are hearing the gospel. So please share it with other people. Encourage them to share it too. Eric N says, I stumbled upon this channel this evening by accident and I haven't stopped watching. I need Jesus badly. That is so encouraging. Ellie Simon says, how do you explain the Bible was written by men and men have lied before? How is it that the Bible isn't just a story? Well, of course it was written by men and men do lie, but these men were inspired by God. And God watched over his word, it hasn't changed, it's axiomatic, it's self-provable, and anyone who studies the Bible with a humble and honest heart will see the finger of God all over it. But I say that with this caveat. Jesus didn't say go into all the world and convince them the Bible's the word of God. No, no, that's putting the cart before the horse. The scriptures say the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. They're foolishness to him because they're spiritually understood. And people won't understand the Bible when they're not born of the Spirit. It'd be like trying to read a book in the dark. So don't try and convince people uh, that the Bible's the word of God. Don't put all your energy into that. Put the horse before the cart, that is, preach the gospel to them as you've been told. Once they're converted, God will open the eyes of their understanding and the Bible will be seen as what it is, the Word of God. Hi Ray, I know now that you read these comments and I hope you read mine and respond. This video makes me wonder how you handle witnessing to those who pose a physical danger to you. And she goes on to say she has some neighbors she's scared of. Well, I would say don't put your life on the line with your neighbors. Be very, very careful. If they're scary people, stay away from them. You know, the Apostle Paul, when his life was in danger, had himself lowered over a wall in a basket so he could escape. Uh, Jesus said, if you're persecuted in one city, flee to the next. So don't put your life in danger. Be very wise. A lot of people are murdered nowadays, literally thousands each year, because they go places that are unwise. So, yeah, there are times when I take risks, but they're calculated risks. There are other people around. It's not at night, etc. And I'm uh, a little experienced. I know when danger comes up and I'm ready to run. Before someone kills me, they've got to catch me first. So you be careful with that precious life that God has entrusted you with.